uh, welcome back to another video, guys. I am super excited, and no, not because Jerry's here, but <laughs> because finally, I'm installing the thrashing supply risers that I've had in my garage since, what, December? I think longer. <laughs> I got these for Christmas for myself. It was like, oh, it's my Christmas gift. And uh, yeah, it's now July, so yeah, I'm now installing these. Um, so I got the coolest white guy I know here, Jerry, because I've never done risers, any type of installs like that, so this guy has, so he's gonna help me out. So let's, let's cheers to that, man. Boom, got the Coronas back in the building. And with that being said, I think I already pretty much explained what we're doing here today, so let's just jump into the install. All right, so first off, first off, what we're gonna do is just loosen up the, the nuts that are under here. Um, these old diners are a little weird because they come with this cow on top and then adjustable. everything is like adjustable and swings back. So, I mean, the whole install should be pretty uh, easy after we loosen these things up, take this off and then unplug the, the, the stock riser. It should just be pretty easy because we're not changing bars and we're not switching out cables. Um, it's just literally just taking out the riser and lifting up the, Bar the clamp. top clamp mm -hmm. and then just replacing the, the risers with the new ones, right? So hopefully it's a simple, easy job um, and it won't take, yeah, <laughs> cross your fingers. <laughs> and it won't take us too long. For you guys, it might be 10 minutes. For us, it might be an hour. But we'll see. So we'll start by loosening this up first. Break it loose for Jerry. Break it. Ooh, that one smashed up the headlight. This one's pretty loose. Almost smashed from my dirty dollar Amazon light Dude, there. Speaking of loose, look at this. Oh, uh, leave it, leave it. Uh, I gotta fix that. Dude, it's a fucking Dyna. Everything shakes off and breaks <laughs> off. Of it. If you wanna Lock get a Dyna, Lock tight. if you wanna get a Dyna, guess what? Everything's gonna become loose. Everything. All right, don't break it completely loose. Next up you gotta do is just loosen up all these screws right here on the top clamp. Uh, once we loosen this up, then we're able to move our bars out the way and move on to the next step. Alright guys, so down here you're gonna find some cables. These are the cables that loop down from the bars and they go through this cow. Um, we just gotta unplug them because they go through the hole right on top of the cow right here as you can see and we gotta get rid of that. You wanna go back to the bottom now guys and just finish loosening everything up. Hopefully they uh, this whole thing comes right up. It should, right Jerry? One piece should come off. All right. Why don't you pull the two bolts? Now also guys, I also went to my local Harley dealership and I picked up some new bushings. Um, they're rubber bushings. I didn't want to go with the metal ones because... Vibration. Um, number one, Jerry brought up a good point, vibration. But number two, the main reason is why, because these risers aren't so hard. Uh, they're not so tall. So when you have these really tall risers, that's when you're going to want something more uh, stronger so it doesn't, you know, bend forward. But for six inch, which is what I got here, well, not me, but my risers. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the rubber ones are, are more than fine. You have a screw. There you have to do a screw. Because it's holding on this cable, the brake line to uh, um, the actual uh, cow on top. So we loosen this up. That comes off. Take the clip off right here because there's a clip that's connecting the cables to it as well. You know, for uh, guys who haven't done this. I mean, you've kind of done this before. 20 years ago. 20 years ago, so you're basically brand new to this again. But we're actually doing pretty good. That's the best thing about working on Harleys, guys. Some of you guys who don't have any Harleys who are thinking about buying Harleys. Pretty simple. It's pretty simple to work on these bikes. Just like that. 50 pounds off the bike. <laughs> that is pretty heavy. Is pretty heavy. <laughs> that is really, really heavy. So um, the good thing about these old, uh, I mean, well, these later style models for Dynas is that you're able to adjust this. So you could bring this down or up. I hide it at the highest position. Um, but obviously I don't want this. I want some nice looking risers. And that's the main reason I want to get rid of these, right? So these are out. So now that we got the uh, stock risers off, we're just going to put this literally over where the other are at. And then we're going to take our, wait, you got the screw? Which, which side? Screw on? this, uh, this side right here. We're gonna put this in and just tighten it up with your hand, just like a hold in place, and then we'll uh, take the wrench and uh, put everything in at once. Yeah, so 
We're gonna just snug them up and then we're gonna take the top clamp off and put the bars in place just in case we have to move them around. And then we'll tighten everything in one shot. So we just unscrewed the top clamp with these screws right here. And what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna put the bar right in between the top clamp and the riser. Put the top clamp over it. Start putting the screws in. Put it down, I'm gonna be like this. Yeah. Stay a little higher. Oh, right high. there. No, that's perfect. Yeah? Yeah, I like this one. This is this feels good. This feels real good right here. So number one thing you don't want to do is tighten the tan the, the top clamp up too high because you won't be able to adjust your bar on top. So leave it real loose like we just did, and then you're able to maneuver your bar exactly where you want it to be at. So for example, me. I like it at this angle right here. It's actually really, really nice. And then we're uh, pretty much done. We just gotta plug in the wires that we um, put in the bottom. So while Jerry's tightening these up, I'm just gonna hold the bar exactly where I want it to be at. So it doesn't come down. So as you can see, a pretty easy install. Actually, I found it easier than expected. Yeah, you were expecting this big disaster. And I yeah. Said, I told you it wasn't that hard. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty simple. So thank you, Jerry, for the big help today. Hope you guys like this install video. Um, I always tell you guys for my install videos that I'm not a mechanic. So if I can do it, you could do it at home. Very, very simple tools you need. And if you have a help of a buddy, then it just makes everything much easier and much faster. Now, another thing I want to touch base upon is the quality of the risers um, A1. No, these risers were not given to me. I bought them with my hard-earned cash. Um, but quality is really good. Um, amazing design. It looks beautiful. Definitely makes a bike pop out a lot more. What, what was your first thought when you saw them? I was them? like, they look good. I was like, that they have that now now he has to change your grips and the levers because yeah but yeah. yeah they just pop boom yeah it makes yeah. it makes the whole cockpit look a much and, different and the now. feel is just yeah you don't even need to change the bars stock bars are fine yeah uh I, I i thought originally to change the bars but now the way we adjusted them as well and everything it's just i think i'm gonna keep it and just save myself the money like you wouldn't even be able to tell um just levers and grips yeah, uh, well, I'm actually thinking about getting some blue grips. I'm not going to say what yet, so when I do it, it's going to be a surprise for you guys. And then the levers, uh, if anyone can help me, I want to find some nice shorty levers. Maybe adjustable. Chromed out. No, not adjustable. You want adjustable? No, no, no. Just some chromed out shorty levers. Um, triggers? Yeah. Well, triggers, maybe not triggers. I just want them chromed out and shorties. I like shorties. So if anybody knows a company or anything out there, link it down below. Also, drop your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys think about these thrashes supply risers. If you're in the market looking for risers, you might be a very good. On my 2020 Lowrider S, I'm running the uh, San Jose Custom as well, which I'm a big, huge fan of as well. Mm -hmm. um, amazing things. I actually have a discount code for those. So if you guys are interested in getting yourself some risers, a few of my friends from all over the country already, a few of my subs have uh, ordered them and they've been very happy with them. So save yourself some cash. The discount codes are all down below for all the companies that support the channel. I always tell you, support the companies that support the channel. I also got some installs for the sports later on this week. Uh, we got some new pipes, got a new air cleaner, got a LED light and something else. And Tuesday we are doing the uh, reveal video for the uh, the new Sportster S. That's gonna be fun. I, I'm really I can't wait to hear all the details about that bike. But I'm gonna have a video shortly up after that's up, uh, going over you know all the thoughts and everything I'm thinking about the bike. Um, then we got the install videos, and towards the end of the week we might have a ride video. So a lot of stuff. <sighs> Tune in. Where's your beer at? Drink it. 
too slow. You got busy. Corona, like, Corona's have to start sponsoring my videos, man. Or any of you beer companies. Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride. And enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Peace.